Right guys, look, I need to speak to you man, I need to speak to someone because my real estate agent isn't getting back to me. Um, I've, got, I've gotten myself into a, another, another mood. I have. I've completely disinfected everything. I've put my gloves on, I've got a bucket of hot soapy water and I, I get down on my hands and knees and I, I start doing the skirting boards and then I, and then I, I looked inside a cupboard and I was just like, am I gonna fuck, am I gonna do this shit without, in, without even showing them photos of, of what it looked like? Am I gonna do that? Am I gonna take this on the chin and do it? And, and no, it's not acceptable. It's simply not acceptable. So I've gone around and I've taken photos of what I can. I mean, I, I could literally go, go around and, and take photos of every square inch of this place and there'd be something, something that needs cleaning, seriously. Um, so I've gone and taken the photos, I've gone and sent them through, I've said this is absolutely disgusting. Um, do you expect me to clean this? Do you expect me to live in this place like this? I mean, I said it's nothing personal guys, but there is no way that you'd be happy with this. Anyways, I am going to clean it, I am going to take it on the chin, but at least I've taken the photos. Because if I didn't do that, then I'd feel absolutely cheated, you know what I mean? I'd feel shit about it. So I've just sat down there with my head in my hands again for another half an hour thinking, what the fuck do I do? Like, if you're putting this, I've just paid bond, you know what I mean? If I hadn't paid four weeks bond, why do you pay bond? You pay bond because if you leave and it's not left in the condition that you got it in, they take money out. Like, oh my God. Nah, not good enough. Anyways, they know about it now. I'm going to clean it. If they come back to me and offer me a professional cleaner, I'm going to say, look, take the money that that would have cost off of a week's rent or whatever and pay me for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to bring it up to my standard. I'm going to bring it up to my family's standard. And that's the end of it. I want something back for it though. I, I, I certainly do. I, I, it's, it's not good enough. It's simply not good enough. And if that's the way that real estate agents in Rockhampton operate, then I don't want a bar of it and I'd rather buy my own place but unfortunately I can't do that so look I just had to talk I had to vent we're gonna get there by the end of today we will get there and I'll see you then okay Remember that number, 48. Guys, <clears throat> I've almost done it. I have almost done what I came to Rockhampton to do, to set up a place to live for me to continue my passion of making YouTube videos and for me to be a dad, a healthy, physically and mentally dad in my two young daughters' lives. I've almost done it. I've spent today getting this place up to some, some sort of standard. I've just moved in. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you'll know I've been in pretty dire straits. In fact, I don't even know what that means, but I think I have been. Um, if, if nothing else, I've, I've been in a weird spot mentally. Um, I was so, so excited to get into this place, and then I, I came in here and I just wasn't... I wasn't happy. I, I thought, these guys have ripped me off here, you know? It's, it's not been cleaned. I've, I've heard that the, the previous tenant moved out two months ago, and no one's touched it since. I heard that they, they rushed off because of the real estate agent, the way that they treated them. I thought, fuck, man. Here I was thinking that <laughs> they had four or five applicants wanting to get this place and I was so lucky to get it and it just isn't the case. And, you know, I, I, I sat here with my head in my hands this morning and I thought, what have I done? I've just moved into a place. I've rushed it. I've rushed it. I've made the wrong decision. But then, then I thought, no. No, this is it. This is the right place. I'm going to make it the right place. I'm going to be in control here. 
I'm in control of my own destiny. I have a roof over my head. I have air conditioning. And like I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos, you know, that's, that's all I need. So this video is a special one because this is it. This is my place in, in as good of condition and with everything set up as well as what it's going to be. So we have a lounge room and a kitchen downstairs. We've got an, a, a small front courtyard, a small back courtyard. And we have two bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. My, my bedroom has coupled as my new YouTube studio. Um, if there is one thing I'm, I'm pretty stoked about is the background of, of my reaction videos and all of my videos to come, my podcast videos, is gonna be brick wall, which is unique. It's something I've never had before, but something I really wanted to utilize. So I've decided to take my YouTube studio upstairs and I will show you that shortly. But once and for all guys, this is the lounge room. This is my TV. <laughs> uh, look, I mean, I didn't show you the state that this was in, but I mean, even just the top of the TV cabinet was covered in more than dust. That's all I'm gonna say. I've completely disinfected the whole place. I've completely wiped down most of the surfaces. I mean, I'm not gonna scrub the walls, but that is what I would have expected to be done before I came in here due to the fact that I have a rental property and that is what I had to do before I rented it out. Either way, we move on. We've got a, a dining table with four chairs. There are four members of my family. Um, I'm going to include my ex in the family. So if I do have a family dinner, we're going to have Tate, Tristan, mum and dad. Or just Tate, Tristan and dad. Either way, I've got a dinner table. Epic. This place did come furnished. So I do have a washing machine, it's packed. I'm about to put my first load of washing on. I went out and I bought some laundry detergent, which is something I didn't have. So that's fantastic, that's ready to go. This is the kitchen. I have had to clean out and scrub every single one of these cupboards um, from floor to ceiling. And I mean, that's something you don't, have, you don't expect to have to do, but it was in such a state that I've done it. And I'm so happy to say that it's all done. Uh, there is nothing left for me to do in this kitchen but use it and enjoy it with me and my kids. <sighs> so, let's go upstairs. I do like the brickwork, if nothing else. I mean, I do, I do like the brickwork. I do like the wooden floors, um, even though they are, you know, pretty, pretty damn old and, and scuffed. But hey, the brick and the wooden floors, I don't mind. Now this is special, all right? This is special. This is my daughter's bedroom. My two daughters, when they come over and sleep, they will be sleeping in this very room. We've got a split system air conditioner to make sure that it's a, a nice temperature. We have purple sheets, a couple of pillows. Purple is my eldest daughter Tate's favorite color. And so this was, uh, a must have. It had to be purple in some way. I'm not going to paint the walls, but if it was my house, I would paint the walls purple because they mean the world to me. And I just want, I just want them, if nothing else, to feel secure, to feel safe and happy in this environment. And, and I think they will. I think it's a nice bedroom. It's a good size bed, a double bed. And, um, you know, she's, she's going to run up the stairs and, and jump on here and say, this is my bedroom. And, or at least that's what I hope we've got a, a double, double-sided um, wardrobe here, if I can open it. <laughs> and the only thing I've put in here so far, well, I've wiped down all the shelves and everything, um, is a, a small pair of tights of theirs that I must have picked up by accident from their house. So I'm gonna put that in there. There's plenty of space for activities, as they say. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, Whatever I buy them, whatever toys we get, you know what I mean? It, it will be going in that room. The bathroom is in here. If you watched the previous vlog, you'll, you'll know that I do have officially uh, the world's smallest bath. Um, but that's, that's neither here nor there. Now I've got a shower caddy. I can actually hang my stuff up. I didn't have a shower curtain before, now I do. I mean, it's the small things, guys. It really is the small things. Um, you know, I can actually set my stuff up now. I'm not even gonna use that cupboard, okay? Because, I mean, uh, no, I'm not gonna open it. I tried to clean it as best I can. It's old, it's grimy, I don't like it. 
but the mirror is usable. We have <laughs> these fags like a jail cell. Look at this thing. Now this was covered in fucking dirt and hair and everything. It was just disgusting, guys. But it's, it's clean enough now and it's usable. Toilet, haven't got toilet paper yet. We move on to, I'm gonna say the second most important area of the house. The first, first most important is definitely my daughter's room. Uh, the second most important is my room. And it's not completely done yet, okay? So what I'm gonna do, guys, that's gonna be the background. That is my computer, that is my camera. I have what I didn't have for a, a, a very long time, and that is a halo light. So, I mean, <laughs> guys, I'm absolutely stoked, um, to be honest. You know, my mood has certainly changed from what it was this afternoon, or this morning. It's about 5.30 in the evening. This is my, well, what could be a little desk. I mean, I was considering, that desk right there was actually in the other room. I was considering having my, my computer there, but the background for my videos was just not gonna be good enough. So I've decided to bring the desk in here. I've decided to leave the girl's room as a completely clean slate, so they can do whatever they want with it. And I've decided to use this shelving as a place where I can sit down and write. Um, a pla you know, it's, it's a bit messy at the moment, but it will be cleared so I can write things. Um, I can, you know, look out the window, I suppose, at my, at my neighbors. <laughs> And, and that'll be it. So I'm gonna leave you right here. What I'm gonna do is put my covers on my bed. I'm gonna hang my clothes up in my uh, wardrobe. I'm gonna get everything ready and we're gonna put the finishing touch. Okay, we're gonna put the finishing touch into my house and into this room. So if you're looking forward to that, please stay tuned. I'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, thank you so much for watching. You know, it's, um, it's been a long time coming. But I'm here in Rockhampton. This is my home now. This is my kid's home. Or their dad's home. And that's so important to me. So I'll see you guys soon, okay? Don't go anywhere. We did it, guys. <sighs> this is my bed. Trust me, trust me. Being someone that's not from Rockhampton, all I need is sheets and all I need is an air conditioner. And thank God I've got both. But the way that we're gonna finish this video off is I'm actually gonna take a shot from, from this camera right there. So I'm gonna set up the shot as if I was sitting down at my computer about to make a video. I've got my microphone. I've got my two batteries charging for my two different cameras. I've got a USB port that I bought today so I can plug in everything I, I need. Um, I've got my halo light, like I said. And I've also got one other piece of, uh, well, I don't know what it is. It's a piece of metal, actually. <laughs> it's a piece of metal, but it's extremely important to me. And I'm gonna transfer this shot to that camera right there and, and finish this video off right, okay? So I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay, this is like one of the first times I've actually seen this, this shot. Um, but I assume this will, this will be one of, one of the main shots you will see on this channel moving forward. And for that reason, I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna try out this, this light. Whoa, that works, doesn't it? We're not gonna put it on just yet. Okay, there's one final thing I wanna do. And that is, as a tribute to all of you guys, and um, you know, I, I've, <laughs> look, you know, a lot of people would put this in a, in, 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 look, this is what we got. We've got the 100,000 subscriber plaque. A lot of people would die if they dropped it, you know what I mean? But there's so many scratches, there is so many dents on this thing because I've taken it everywhere with me, everywhere. But this is the spot that I'm gonna be staying for at least six months. And for those reasons, and so for those reasons, I'm gonna do something right now that I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. Uh, if I can work out how to actually do this. Okay. 
right. <laughs> you know what the funniest thing is, guys? This is ironic. The reason you want to make this perfect is so that is so that you can pull it off the wall without ripping any paint or without damaging the wall. Now, after what I've gone through to get this place ready, I couldn't give a flying fuck. But anyways, this has to be done. I'm so excited. For anyone watching right now, I am about to begin a new channel. It's going to be called Jake Reacts. It will be based in this exact environment and I'd love your support. So any reaction video I do from this moment forward is going to be based on my new channel, Jake Reacts. I cannot wait to put you know, my, my, my heart and soul into that channel. Um, which I do with anything I do, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a guy who's 100% in or 100% out and with YouTube and with being in this new environment and, and setting up a new life, I'm 110% in and just know that. So give me a couple of seconds and I'll be with you soon. All right, this is it. This is it guys gonna sit right there. But I know that the first hook needs to go right about, I'm gonna say right there. Press it down, okay. We've done it. <laughs> We've done it. We've committed. That's what you need to do sometimes, guys. You just need to commit to something. Now usually, back in the day, I would smoke a joint or smoke a bong and then I'd commit to something but at the moment I don't have that to fall back on so every single decision I'm making at the moment is my decision which is interesting <sighs> okay Right, it's done. If I want to make a video front on, it's going to be like this. If I want to make a reaction video, it's going to be something like this. And that, my friends, is fine by me. Whew, we've done it. We've done it. Now there's one song I've, I've actually wanted to listen to for a while. I said to myself, as soon as I get this place sorted, as soon as I've finished, I'm going to treat myself to a bit of music. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. So guys, once and for all, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. This is my house. And I welcome you to it. I'm going to sit back, relax, listen to a bit of music and hopefully all going well I'll get my daughters over tomorrow so guys this is one of my favorite songs it, it's always very emotional for me um, I started listening to it for the very first time when I was in Queenstown a short you know three months ago two and a half months actually and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it Without this YouTube channel, I don't know where I'd be. <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's, that's some serious talk. I really don't know where I'd be. Um, it's helped me through some real testing times and testing situations and it's you guys I have to thank for that. So if you feel a part of my journey, it's because you are. And um, with that in mind, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. And peace out. Saturday night, no bicycle alarms. Switches make my throat hurt. Rolling the hood. My daddy's car says never home. And wishing only makes it rise. I guess they shouldn't. They don't care like I do. No We did it, man. We fucking did it. We did it.